this too shall pass. That was the best advice I ever received, which is something that you think is a huge problem today. When you look back at it, you actually think, oh, how on earth did I think that there was such a huge problem that I couldn't find a solution? You will find a solution. Just don't fall in love with your own solution on every single thing that you do. Really listen and adapt, evolve, iterate, and move on. Hi, I'm Karen, the founder and CEO of Alterpax. At Alterpax, we are creating food containers using the byproducts of food waste and food disposed by manufacturers uh, mixed with agricultural waste. And it's as a replacement to plastic containers and plastic packaging. The genesis of Alterpax lies in garbage. When I was working on my Master's of Science and Innovation at SMU, the Capstone project required us to create a hypothetical startup. They challenged us to solve a global problem. What I had encountered in all of my travels was garbage. And this was plastics and food waste that was choking whole communities. And so I made it my mission to actually look at using my network and my contact to look at a way to actually use food waste to create an alternative to plastic packaging. I think one of the biggest challenges we faced was really trying to assemble the right team. Um, and that's a very, very important thing when you think about how a startup has to function. You need somebody to lead, you need somebody to also bounce off ideas, you need people with that same conviction and passion. And so building a team and building the right team with the right stakeholders is one of the most crucial aspects of having a startup. And if you read the fairy tales, you know that princesses or princes, they either get turned into frogs and then if you kiss enough of them, they turn into princes, right? So in your startup journey, when you go for fundraising, as well as just doing your day-to-day -day in your startup. Realize that you have to kiss a lot of frogs to get a prince. And also, don't, don't burn your bridges. You never know when that other person uh, that might have said no would be somebody who would be able to help you in another way. It's also not always about money. I think what we've learned as a startup is the invaluable partnerships that can come about with both mentors as well as collaborators in industry. When people who are coming up to you to ask you a million questions end up not fundraising or not actually investing with you because they felt that it's too risky and then you're thinking like then why did you go through that entire process of asking me like a million questions and taking several months to come to a decision when the final word is going to be no you might be surprised because somebody who might have just asked you maybe um, after three or four meetings realizes that you are on the same wavelength, you have the same passion points and they will be a make a great collaborator. So they may not bring in the monies but they bring in that collaboration, that industry expertise that can then lead to the next stage which is fundraising. It was because of the faith that BIG had that I actually received a startup grant. It's a small amount of monies but it was an invaluable start. I could use one of the rooms in our house. It was a very, very tiny storeroom. I converted that into a laboratory with the startup grant money. I hired my own researcher, and that was actually the genesis of how Alterpack started. Beyond the grant itself, really number one, the network. Number two, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that when you do a startup, to have people who believe in you because that is exactly what you need. You need people to not only say, I believe in you, but I believe in you so much that I'm going to give you the space you can work out of here. I will give you mentorship. I will help you connect with people that you need in your area of your solutions. And so those were the areas that we found were just amazing when you get into the big program. I think one of the biggest misconceptions, and it was a surprise, is when people put the word startup to poor. And, and, and that brings with it connotations. It's not about being rich, but we are problem solvers at Alterpax. And that's what startups do. We problem solve, we come up with the innovative solutions, maybe um, the normal industry have yet to think about. We may not have the funds that established industries have, but we certainly are rich in terms of all our solutions, our collaborators, as well as what we can bring to the next generation of solutions.